Hello everybody, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Ilian and you can call me Liancho. Today we're gonna make this amazing pineapple and smoky chipotle pepper roasted pork shoulder. I have this huge bone-in, skin-on, 11 pounds bone-in pork shoulder and I have this pineapple and chipotle peppers. It's gonna be a very simple recipe with an incredible result. We're gonna cook it for hours and end up with a juicy and tender roasted pork with a golden brown crackling skin on the outside. The pineapple will give it a little bit of sweetness and the chipotle peppers will give it a nice kick and a smoky flavor. So let's get started. I was really craving tacos al pastor from Mexico and unfortunately I cannot get them right now so this recipe is inspired by this delicious taco. We're gonna use the fresh pineapple to make a delicious marinade and first of all it's gonna give it a delicious sweet flavor but most importantly and this is a little secret pineapple has a very powerful enzyme that will help us tenderize the pork meat so after a few hours marinating or even overnight we're gonna have this extremely juicy and tender pork meat this is a beautiful piece of pork shoulder and the bone is right here in the middle I'm very happy that I found a piece with the skin on because I think that's the best part. This layer of fat underneath will melt after the hours of cooking and um, I'm scoring it now using a very sharp knife and cutting carefully in the shape of little squares. Uh, Miscoring it will help all of that fat melt easier and the skin will turn into this beautiful crackling after the hours of roasting. After scoring it, I'm using generous amount of salt and freshly cracked black pepper. I'm only gonna use half of the pineapple Depending on how spicy you like, I'm adding about five or let's say three chipotles and making sure to get some of the sauce that has a double, it's a double sauce with caramelized onion in it. And I'm gonna add three tablespoons of granulated onion powder. And now we're gonna pour all of the marinade over our pork. Now I'm gonna wrap it up in plastic wrap and leave it in the fridge overnight. Let the marinade do its magic. Tomorrow I'm gonna show you how to roast it to perfection. I just pulled out the pork out of the fridge and now I'm gonna add a little bit of water and wrap it up in aluminum foil. The pork is now in the oven and the whole house smells delicious and now is the perfect time to make an amazing sauce to go with it. I'm gonna use the rest of our pineapple, a little bit of achote, which is a very mild flavor but great color. We're gonna squeeze some lime. We're 
gonna add a few of the chipotle peppers, depending how spicy you like, let's put all of them. One tablespoon of ground cumin. Let's start with half a tablespoon of the achote. <laughs> Now that everything is smooth, I'm going to add the mayonnaise in the mixture. I don't like to add it beforehand because it makes the sauce really runny if I add it and puree it with all of the rest of the ingredients. So I add it at the end and sip <laughs> This is a perfect place to put some fresh cilantro, but I hate cilantro, so we're not gonna do that. And our sauce is ready. This baby has been in the oven for eight hours now, hour and a half at 420 degrees Fahrenheit, and the rest was at 300. And now I'm removing most of the jus, and for sure saving it for later, because this is delicious. And I'm gonna crank up the heat again, for that final crackling golden brown skin finish. Now that the pork is out of the oven, it's time for the most important and the hardest part of this recipe. You have to rest it for at least an hour for all of the juices to come back and settle into the meat before you cut it or pull it apart and enjoy. All right, the meat is well rested now and uh, I've been incredibly patient and this last hour has been very, very difficult with this beautiful aroma going through the entire house. Now I'm gonna cut it up and make tacos. Uh, you can do whatever you'd like. It goes great with mashed potatoes. You can make sandwiches. And if you have leftovers, once it's cooled down, oh, it's even better the next day. If you like this recipe and the video, please comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. I had a lot of fun making it and I hope you had a lot of fun as well. See you next time in the next video. My name is Ilian and have a great day. Bye bye.